Welcome back. Before we start debunking some of those old things that we used to know that used to be the thing for us in music production, I want you to know that yes, we have the Chris Beat Music Academy classes started already. So you can join and we introduced some more um, class. We introduced um, a recording class for or maybe an artist or someone who just wants to master recording from your bedroom get it to sound as professional as possible then we also have a, um, an advanced mixing slash creative mixing um, courses that we just introduced so yes check out the website and yeah chat them on whatsapp to get it in your zone the first debunking that we'll be doing is ai tools unleashed you know a lot of producers for some reasons feel like oh ai is not um, a thing to uh, it's not a nice thing that they don't think it adds they feel like it takes away the creativity from you as the person then it means you are allowing the machine to decide what you are creating first of all no Ring. first take that mindset off your head if you can use loop you can allow the machine to create for you. You can allow the machine to do things for you. Look at the tools that we have right now. For me as a DJ, the stem separation tool that we got um, from different companies like Moises, for instance, we the stem separation tool allows us to be able to do a lot of things. Look at the key detection tools, you know. So all those tools, they are not here to replace you. They are just here to enhance your work. So if anyone is telling you, AI is here to replace you is not true. So number two is uh, a little bit common. This one talks about selective layering. I'm a very big fan of layering sounds. I'm a very big fan of adding things together to create a uh, different um, sonic character. Before now, we've always been told that eh, for your sound to be different, you need to lay it with different things, you know, maybe use a, use a stream sound a water splash late with your chord late with your this thing uh if you play sound directly is not good that is absolutely not true you know that is not the truth that is not the case as a matter of fact there are so many sound designers out there already did a beautiful sound for you on your nexus are we talking about nexus are we talking about omnisphere are we talking about any of those guys the sounds that they have they are already good basically all i'm saying is you don't always have to layer everything layer only if it adds value you know sometimes less is more we preach that all the time i preach that on this um channel so if you must layer you can experiment with distortion use stuff like frequency modulation uh face modulation to further bring out the sonic palette to bring out the sonic character of your music let's take for instance I have a sound. Let me look for a basic piano sound. So look at this, uh, uh, this piano, for instance. We can do a lot of things by saying, okay, it's a basic piano. But I want to show you the power of layering things, you know, adding, using uh, maybe frequency modulator. Let me even look for, I don't even want to use a frequency modulator. Let me use uh, a basic EQ, you know, and I will see how to, let me see if I can automate the EQ to create the kind of sound I want. Of course, I can do this by adding an LFO to um, shape this EQ up and down, you know, I can, I can use an LFO to allow the EQ to create the mood I want. So let's say I have this EQ and I want to add maybe a character to this piano I just played without adding a bunch of sound to layer things on it. I can go. I can add that. This is just me randomly explaining how you can create uh, characters with your songs without the, without the need of 
overlaying things together only do things when they are needed is basically all we're trying to say here so with this i can say let me add a distortion of course you don't always have to do it you know you don't always have to add something to your song you don't always have to go add maybe a distortion or any of those things you don't always have to the third one will be inspired or not produce daily so i always say this to people whether you are inspired or you are not inspired produce daily work on whatever you have daily so i saw a video i don't want to mention names a popular person on youtube said it's always good for you to wait for an inspiration before you produce before you make music in his words that might be good but in my experience and in my in the normal thing in the normal way that music uh, basically works is whether you feel inspired or you are not inspired you should work as you don't know inspiration will not tell you that oh i'm here today let's work so you have to always make things work you have to always put yourself out there to be ready for when the inspiration will strike you so discipline yourself daily when it's so that when inspiration hits you are well equipped to seize it a person that has never driven a car before that wants to buy a car when he eventually pays for the car he will not be able to move it from the car dealer's shop he would call someone to move it but a person who is looking to buy a car will first of all start by learning how to drive a car how to move a car i'm telling you this by experience because i bought a car without knowing how to drive a car so yes you always want to be prepared for your inspiration to hit you yeah doesn't make the artist you don't need the great gear you don't need the greatest sounding sound card to get the better quality by the way speaking about sound card i'll be giving away this arrow um uad arrow sound card i'll let you know by sunday beats review the sunday live beats review that we do with chris beats i'll let you know how you can enter for it and the producer competition that we have uh going on so yes a, a great gear this is a very beautiful sounding sound card, by the way. This is the sound card I recorded, uh, Philo, um, Omale, and uh, Bella Shmoda. This is the sound, sound card I recorded that song on. You know, as cheap as it is, great sounding preamp. So moving on. So an affordable option can give you great results. Invest wisely in the things that will enhance your creative process. So instead of spending so much money on buying a sound card or spending so much money on buying things that you really don't, that does not necessarily affect what you do directly, you know, until you need it, you don't need it. You know, and if you don't know if you need it, if you don't know if you need it or not, then you probably know. You probably don't need it. Spend money on your sound. Spend money on the things that um, enhances your sound, like a sound pack, like getting a course, you know, like taking a course that will further elevate your mind, like, you know, doing things that would give, that will give you opportunities, that will allow you opportunities to do things like we have the um, sync licensing that we are doing for all our advanced students at Chris Beat Music Academy. That is one of the things that will get you. Of course, it was sync licensing that gave me the ability to do an advert for Fenty Beauty by Rihanna last year. You know, so things like that, invest in information, invest in things that would take you higher, not necessarily your gear. No artist to come into the studio and say, oh, you have this 1176 um, compressor, or you have this, they just want their shit to sound good. And if it sounds good, it's fine to them. So yes, moving on. Number five is, if you are a master, you don't use presets. Says who? That is... A, that is the biggest lie of the century. Presets are not shortcuts. Presets are tools for inspiration and sound design mastery. Top artists use them for a reason. Don't fall for the myth of building a versatile library of presets to spark creativity. No, you can always use presets to get yourself to where you need to be. The popular OTT used in almost all the interesting records that we like um, in the EDM world was a preset on Ableton. It's still a preset on Ableton. But now, you, uh, some people can get it on XFAR. You can get it on XFAR's um, website. They have their own, but it's original. This. You know, that preset will sound good on almost anything.
So it's not to say, oh, you, you are not as creative as you should be. But it's for you to have something to start with. You know, something that you can take and then you can build yours on. So presets are not for the lazy. Presets is just a way for, of you using the mind of the professionals who has probably done this a couple of times and use it to spark your own. The next one, and this will probably get a lot of people coming to fight me on the internet, is clipping and distortion are not the enemy. They are not the bulls or the villains, you know, so to say. You know, they are the allies for getting loud mixes, aggressive sounds. They are the allies for getting aggressive sounds. So let's take, for instance, now, this sound that we started with. Let's try to put a harsh distortion on that. Can you see how much light this distortion brought to the song? Can you see how much richness, how much warmth it brought to the song? That is exactly what distortion does. And any, any great engineer knows that you cannot achieve loudness. Like when we talk about, oh, my song is loud, you have a good mastering, you have a good mix without proper use of clipping and distortion, you know. So you need those things. Then to wield them in your Afro dance music, especially Afro beats. For me, I must say, distortion is one of the blessings that happen to digital music. If not, digital music will not be, there will not be life. It will be lifeless. So distortion is a blessing to the digital music world. So next is, you must learn to play music. You must learn the theory. You must learn the music theory. That is by far not a true thing. As a musician, as an artist, you are not a technical person. You are an artist. And what do artists do? They tell stories with their art. Technical skills are vital. I'm not lying. You can't, you can't miss that. But they are not the main. They are not the key thing to making music. But telling stories and composition reign supreme over these things. As a modern composer, your goal is to captivate listeners. So how do we captivate listeners? By doing all these small, 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 tiny details. Knowing where to put a mix, knowing where to put a sound in your special, um, or in your special space. Knowing exactly what kind of feeling you want to convey. Knowing the kind of feeling you want your people to get. You know, I can have, I can have this. Then I can change this whole sound to something that that will probably introduce more. You know, that will probably introduce another type of feeling to the person hearing it. You know, this is different from what we started with. You know. You know, so that is different from where we started from and where we where we brought it to. So that is exactly what telling stories is about. Knowing exactly how to tap into people's emotion. Knowing where they want to get to part time. Knowing where you need to take them to part time. You know, yeah. The next thing is you need to take a lot of time to mix. That is not always the case. You don't have to use hundred years to mix a track there are some times that the clients will probably want to go back and forth on a record that is understandable but mixing is not a marathon focus on fixing the most significant problem with your eq and volume feathers you know the the 80 20 rule apply most of the substantial improvements come from the small percentage of adjustment you know i showed a, a video okay no it was in, it was in one of our classes where i'm doing a full mix breakdown and i was just doing tiny tiny 1 db 2 db cuts 1 db 2 db cuts as opposed to me doing 4 5 6 7 db cuts and a big bell to carve out something you know you see the difference and the difference 
at the end, the one that I was doing 1DB, 2DB court, sounds more original, sounds more real. The, the goal of mix is not to sound like there's a, there's a shine shine on it. The goal of a mix is to get it to sound as original. Uh, that's why when I'm mixing in live sound, when I'm doing live sound, I will ask the person, please, is this how you sound normally? You know, speak. Let me hear you speak outside the mic then speak into the mic i want to be able to hear what i'm hearing from your mouth like this i want to hear it from the speaker to sound exactly the same way focus on the things that needs issue the issue i see a lot of people want to mix and then they go into the mix let's say i have this now i have this uh this sound and i want to mix it a lot of people will start looking for what's not missing in the mix they will start doing they will start doing something like this But the issue with this is any frequency that you boost, any song, anything that has no issue, even if there's no issue that you boost like this, there will always be an issue. It, almost all the, almost all the um, frequency range will, will ring. Are you seeing that they are all ringing? Does it mean that they are all bad? No, there are some that they are just extra harmonics added. You know, you might want to look at the ones that are out of tone where you feel like, okay, yeah, this thing is re really not in key. And if it gets exaggerated, the more those are the things you want to say, okay, let me take them down a bit. You don't necessarily have to take them out. Our ear works in a very fantastic way that you might think this thing is sounding is going to be an issue, but it's also one of the things that is adding life and character to that music. So, yes. You don't always have to spend your whole year mixing one song because you are trying to achieve get perfection. That is not true. To the next one, it is your song, so it should be your decision. Always embrace it. Always embrace whatever decisions you make with your song. It's your song, your story. If you like something and it's, it, and it's the correct way, trust your instincts, trust your creative instincts. You are almost right 99% of the time if it's your song and you really know it, not you are doing it blindly because Chris Bates said so. Trust your instincts and work on your song. So the last one is YouTube tutorials. So a lot of YouTube tutorials has helped a lot of musicians. YouTube is a vast ocean of knowledge. Don't shy away from videos because you feel like there are many bad videos out there giving wrong advices. While some tutorials might have misinformation, there are also valuable content on YouTube that's when you find them it will be like you finding a gem that will elevate your skills for life so you want to take your time out to really understand to really check for things and then if you find someone like i say youtube is a vast knowledge is a vast um space is a vast ocean of knowledge you can find someone that inspires you for some reason but might not inspire you in other parts you might find something that inspires you one here and does not touch you on the other part so you want to take your time out to know what works for you you know all videos will not speak to you the same way just like what i'm saying now might not speak to some persons they might feel like oh yeah what's it saying but you that it speaks to is you and making the video for you so yeah there you have it fellow producers we have um, shattered some of the meat and brought you into a new perspective in 2024 um for your production journey i hope you are able to now fully go into your day making music go into your music making journey refining the things that you need refining yourself and leaving behind those leaving behind those old tips that necessarily doesn't work for anybody anymore so yes with that said like subscribe if this is your first time coming to this page and if not i would like for us to keep in touch and leave a comment in the comment section and yes don't forget that this is still on let me know why i should give you this let me know why you should get this and this is for mac only by the way i might be doing something for windows as well so this i guess is for mac only and then you can register it it comes with some free professional plugins for music producers so yes leave a comment in the comment section and i'll see you love